Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, then please comment below and let me know if you are a part of the Praise team. If not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is that easy. Also, just to remind you, I am also now on a new platform, so you could go ahead and follow me on Instagram. So in today's video, my friends, I want to show you a very simple way to plan a successful week in your planner. So currently I am using the Happy Planner, which is a disbound system. I've been using it for at least four plus years, but this simple strategy can be used in any planner. So for this video, I am going to be using um, an old layout that I did back in September. And the reason why I chose this particular layout is because it's already decorated and it's a step that I don't have to do in this video. However, if you want to see this plan with me, you can check out this video here. So my friends, to get started, I want to let you know that if you are a planner babe or dude who likes to decorate their planner, this is the step that you want to do first. It can be as little or as much as you want. You could be as creative as you want. It is your planner, so you know what? Do what you do. So again, this step is optional. It's all about what you like to do as a planner. If you want to go ahead and skip the whole decoration part, that's totally okay. We can go ahead and move forward. The next step is to begin to list everything that you need to accomplish during the week you're planning for. So in today's video, it is for the week of the 21st through the 27th. And again, these pages are old and only for tutorial purposes. So let's assume that we are in the week of the 21st through the 27th of September. We want to go ahead and write down the things that we need to accomplish. Again, I can't stress enough the word need. What is it that you need to accomplish in the week that you're planning for? That is what needs to be on your list. Then once you've written down all of those things, I would suggest that you return to the week that you just completed to see if there was anything you missed in the previous week that you want to bring forward into the new week. So say for example, here I made a notation to call a couple of sisters from my church. If I didn't accomplish that and I wanna bring it into the new week, I would also, I would also jot that down on this list. If I needed to respond to an email, it doesn't matter what the task is anything that you want to bring forward from last week into the week you're planning in, you want it to be on this list. And when planning your list, make sure that you are adding appointments, conference calls, meetups, and also even your work schedule. Things of that nature is what you want to add to this list. Once we've created the list, let me move this out of the way. Once we've created the list, it is time to start writing in the planner. I like to use erasable ink. I don't prefer one erasable ink pen more than the other. As long as it erases, I'm good. I like to use erasable ink because yes, I'm definitely prone to error, but I also like to have a very neat planner. But you know what? Again, it's your planner. It's totally up to you. This erasable ink pen is just a suggestion. Anyhow, let's go ahead and begin to write in the planner. 
The very first thing that you want to start adding to your planner is any schedules that are fixed. So say for example, a fixed schedule is your work schedule. Why is it called fixed? Because whether or not you show up, the show must go on. So your work schedule would be considered fixed. If you go to church during the week or Bible study, that is fixed. Why? Because whether or not you show up, guess what? The show will go on. So anything on a fixed schedule that you plan on doing during the week, I would suggest you write those things down first. So for me, I will be jotting down Tuesdays and Thursdays to indicate my work schedule. So I will put work here on Tuesday and work here also on Thursday. Next, I'm gonna go to Sunday. Sunday is also my day of worship. And again, whether or not I show up, the show will go on. The other thing that I have going on this week that is fixed is my Weight Watchers Zoom meetings. And that is every Wednesday at 8.30 is my Weight Watchers Zoom meeting. So I know I keep saying whether or not I show up or whether or not you show up, the show must go on. When you are writing down your fixed schedule, it's with the assumption that you are going to show up. You are gonna to go to work this week. You are going to the sanctuary. Whatever it is that's fixed, that's what we wanna put in the planner. So now that we've written down our fixed schedule, let's go ahead and begin writing in our planner starting with Monday and moving right towards the end of the week. So for me, I have laundry on Monday and I also have to film and edit a video. Tuesday I work. Wednesday I have my Zoom meeting which I already placed in the planner but I also plan to mop and sweep my main floor. So Thursday I work but I'm scheduled to get off at noon so I went ahead and made a 2 p.m. doctor's appointment for myself. And it's actually with my ENT, which is my ears, note, and throat specialist. Friday is when I do my banking and billing. And I typically do not write that in my weekly planner. I reserve that for my month at a glance. I also show that I have a nail appointment at 1 p.m. And lastly, on Friday, I have to film and edit another video. Moving into Saturday, my husband and I have been walking with a group each Saturday at 7 a.m. And this Saturday, we will be at Jones Beach then later on in the afternoon, I need to upload my videos. So we're back to Sunday where you see I already scheduled church. However, before I leave for church in the morning, there are a few things that I do routinely before I go. And that is I refill my vitamin packs. And I also plan my weekly schedule. Lastly, I have been trying to get into the habit of posting on Instagram. So once I have my week laid out, I go ahead and move to the sidebar. I use the sidebar as one reminders and also to take note of anything that may be happening for the next week. I might also choose to use the sidebar as a quick notation of a brainstorm. 
So here, my friends, is a simple way to plan a successful week in your planner. One thing that I want to share with you that is very, very important is this. Do not over schedule yourself. Let me say that again. Do not over schedule yourself. I know that there are some weeks that are busier than others and we are forced into a thrust. That I get. However, don't let that be your norm. If you are new to planning, you will have to find your comfort zone when it comes to planning and you will have to create a daily schedule that is conducive to your style. So if you are one of those people who enjoy packing your days, then by all means, go ahead, it's your day. However, if you are not that person and you are just writing in your planner because you like to see ink on the page, pause. How about just adding a sticker or doodling, but do not over schedule yourself because then at the end of the week, when you look back, you are going to feel defeated. And that is not what I want for you or for me. So please take that tip with you if you don't take anything else that you learned from this video. Before we close, let me just go ahead and do a quick summary of everything we discussed today. When you are planning for your week, number one, go ahead and designate time to decorate your planner if that's what you do. If not, go ahead and move straight to step two, which is creating a list of all the things that you plan and need to accomplish during the week you are working in. That includes appointments, conference calls, meetups, your work schedule. Then you want to go back to the previous week that you are A in or just now coming out of and pull anything that you would like to add to the week that you are planning for that you missed in the previous week. That could be a chore, getting your car washed, an errand that did not happen. That's what you wanna bring into the new week. You are going to add that to your list of things that you need to accomplish in the week that you are working in. Then the last step is to begin writing. I suggest that we write down our fixed schedule first. We discuss that a fixed schedule is any event that will happen with or without you. Yes, you plan on being there. For example, you definitely plan on going to work every Monday. Then you are going to start with the beginning of the week, moving into the end of the week and prioritize the things that you have on your list. And last but not least, my friends, please do not overcrowd your schedule. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, please consider hitting that notification bell. This way you will be notified every time I upload a video. This is Sherelle from Planner With A Praise saying, Peace and blessings.